SAS, or Syntactically Awesome Style Sheets, is a preprocessor scripting language that compiles into CSS. It extends CSS with additional functionality, features like variables, nesting, and mixins. SAS comes in two versions the original SAS and the more popular SCSS. Both offer the same features, but the main difference lies in their syntax. The SAS version is known as the indented syntax. It does not use curly braces or semicolons. Instead, it relies on indentation to nest and structure styles. SCSS, or sassy CSS on the other hand, uses the standard CSS syntax with curly braces and semicolons to define blocks of code. Remember that browsers don't understand SAS directly, so you need to convert your SAS code into CSS. If you have Node.js installed on your computer, globally install SAS using npm. Then run this command. Here, styles scss specifies the location of your SAS file, while styles css indicates the desired location for the compiled CSS file. Alternatively, if you use Visual Studio Code as your editor, you can install the live SAS compiler extension to automatically compile your SAS files into CSS. Once you install the extension, click the Watch SAS button at the bottom. This will automatically trigger the compilation process whenever you modify your SAS files. One of the standout features of SAS is the use of variables. A variable is declared with a dollar sign followed by the variable name, and then assigned a value. You can define variables for colors, fonts, sizes, etc. so that you can easily change values in one place without editing your entire style sheet. While CSS now supports variables, SAS variables are still useful for organizing and managing your styles. In SAS, you can nest CSS selectors in the way that mirrors the HTML structure. This approach lets you create hierarchically structured selectors for complex layouts, eliminating the need to repeatedly write parent selectors. When nesting, the ampersand symbol, known as the parent selector, makes it easy to reference the parent. It is very useful for pseudo classes, pseudo elements, and more advanced selector combinations. While CSS now also supports nesting, the way it handles the parent selector differs slightly. In native CSS nesting, the ampersand symbol must be used at the start to define a rule, and you cannot concatenate it with other selectors freely. Mixins in SAS allow you to define reusable chunks of CSS that you can include throughout your style sheet. A mixin is created using the mixin directive and is included in styles with the include directive. In addition, a mixin can take parameters. This makes them even more flexible. SAS allows you to define custom functions that return values. A function is defined using the function directive followed by its name and parameters. The return directive specifies the value to be returned. Moreover, SAS provides built-in functions that make it easier to manipulate colors, numbers, strings, and more. You can use them by simply calling their names in your styles. As in programming languages, you can control the flow of your styles using the if, else if, and else directives. This is helpful for applying different styles depending on specific criteria such as breakpoints, themes, or other design choices. Also loops are available in SAS. The for loop iterates over a range of numbers, allowing you to create styles based on a sequence. The each loop iterates over a list or map, which is great for applying styles to multiple items. And the while loop repeat a block of styles until a specific condition is false. That's it, thanks for watching.